After spending several weeks in Kansas City with her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift is leaving Kansas City and returning to New York City. Swift has been nominated for Time Magazine's Person of the Year, and the winner will be revealed on Wednesday morning, despite the fact that her unexpected trip home seems out of the blue. The multi-Grammy winner may have needed to be in New York to film for the Today Show, which revealed the finalists on Monday, according to some fan theories. Swift is going up against people like Barbie, Vladimir Putin, and King Charles III. She hadn't returned to her opulent penthouse apartment since wrapping up the South American leg of her era's tour. But after her flight on Tuesday afternoon, she went back there. She worked out at the Dog Pound Gym a few blocks away in less than an hour. She took off immediately from Sao Paulo to Kansas City to be with Travis. Then, in less than a day, she went to London and back again to attend Beyoncé's Renaissance film debut. Taylor will be spending the next several weeks with her partner in the Midwest while she takes a two-month sabbatical from her international era's tour. Before turning 34 on December 13th, Swift may go back to Kansas City, but it's uncertain if the Chiefs' tight end will travel to New York to celebrate with her. On Monday morning at 11.30 a.m., Travis was spotted driving away from his home in his Rolls Royce and stopping at the McLean's Market drive through to pick up a cold drink and a breakfast sandwich. At 4 p.m., he drove to the Chiefs' training complex and returned home. The Chiefs take on the Buffalo Bills in Kansas City this coming Sunday. He took a plane to Green Bay on Saturday with his colleagues. His girlfriend flew the 90 minutes to icy Wisconsin the next day, where she saw the Chiefs fall short against the Green Bay Packers. On Monday at around one in the morning, Taylor went back to Kansas City and met up with Travis again. After wrapping up her tour and landing in Kansas City last week, Taylor made a beeline for her partner's brand new, opulent residence. A source claims that Taylor is still enamored with Travis. However, she understands that since they would be spending weeks at a time together, the hard work in their relationship is about to begin. Until now, their hectic schedules had stolen time from each other. They have made every effort to hold on to those stolen moments. She has five times watched him play in the NFL. He traveled 5,400 miles to see her perform live, and they co-hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live. Clearly, those aren't the activities a typical newlywed couple would engage in during their initial months of dating, the source stated. However, Taylor and Travis may now attempt to lead as normal a life as possible. Now that they have the time and chance, they can actually spend some quality time together. Last week, Taylor was spotted getting settled in and stopped by her best friend, Brittany Mahomes, at the mansion she and her quarterback husband, Patrick, share. The pair last week celebrated Christmas early when they went to a fun party on Friday night with quarterback Patrick Mahomes's. First claiming that the pop sensation would be in the stands for Sunday's game was Green Bay coach Matt LaFleur. Is she meant to be present here? It's what I've been told. Therefore, we'll see, he stated on Friday. That's only a small portion of it. The game is our main priority. But if she does turn up, I'm sure there will be some irate spectators. She has already visited MetLife Stadium to watch the Chiefs play the New York Jets and three times to Arrowhead Stadium. In recent months, her connection with Kelsey has taken center stage in the NFL, elevating the profile of the tight end, the Chiefs, and the entire league. Every time Swift appears on Kansas City's Instagram page, 18,383 new followers are added on average, while Swift's presence in Kelsey's supporters section adds 124,090 new followers on average. That's based on average beings' data.